a great service you can do in your salon, and it's called Boliage. And I might go down in history of being the first hairdresser to ever bring a shampoo bowl on stage. How about that? All right? Okay, so we're making history right here uh, in in Premier Orlando world. And don't forget to do your selfies today to raise money for Beauty Changes Lives. That is a really amazing scholarship program. I mean, I, I'm going to make sure that I do them all day because I am i don't know who the donor is, but I'm going to get him today, okay, with every dollar for my hashtag. All right, so Boliage. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Boliage. And first, I want to thank Takara Belmont for bringing me this great shampoo bowl right on stage. But I want to talk to you about it for a minute and how this service can really help you uh, in the salon. So sometimes you know the lady that comes in, she gets her uh, color touched up and she is uh, in a hurry and she has, uh, you shampoo her out and the ends have highlights and then she has ring around the rosies as I call it, right? Or maybe she's just too cheap to buy highlights again. You know, she wants to do it every other time. You know her? Yeah. Okay. Well, she's not getting out of my salon without some hair painting. Okay. So I uh, created this little technique called boliage. And the reason is because just as I taught you a minute ago, the ridges are so, so important. So just by painting the ridge, I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to have, um, that hair showing me those ridges right here in the bowl, and I know this cameraman is going to get a great angle. So I'm going to mix my sunlights. Of course, everybody knows I'm mixing a silver bowl. Why do I mix in a silver bowl? Because it just looks good. <laughs> That's the only reason. Uh, but I want my product to be uh, nice and firm so that it doesn't come out of my bowl. I mix um, with, sunlights can be mixed with any um, cream developer. 20, 30, 40 volume. I always mix with 40. People ask me after class, do you ever mix with 30? And I always answer, I always mix with 40. Um, then I'm going to take my paddle, add with my loader brush. I'm going to add my sunlights. My loader brush is going to live in the bowl. I always teach that in my classroom because balayagers get very frustrated um, because they can't uh, stay clean, so they quit. I'm going to load my product on, onto my paddle like that, um, onto my brush. And then I'm just going to come right into this hairline, and I'm going to get that T-zone, and I'm going to just paint with a boliage. And so I can get right here, and I can skim, and I can get right down to it. And I'm going to be moving to the left, mister. Come on with me. Okay. All right, so I don't want to step on you. All right, so I just pull that hair out, and I'm going to... I'm going to get a little bit more product. And so I can do the T-zone. I, uh, I can do over the top of color. And if you'll go back to the slide um, that we have, you can see that there's a lot of different ways that I do boliage. A full head of highlights using boliage. I can come through the ends. Now watch what I do here. So I'll pick all three of those pieces up, or all four of those pieces, and I just pull it down. Cameraman, uh, go to the live feed, please. Got it. Got it? Okay. So I just pull all that down. Turn your head this way. I just pull all that down, and now I put that all together. Now I'm skimming, and I'm dry brushing. Dry brushing, big technique that I use. So check me out on YouTube. Got tons and tons and tons of videos for you. If you don't know how to do it, I probably will teach you some late night with a glass of wine if you want to pull me up. Okay. And so none, nonetheless, um, now I can just have control of what I'm doing. And remember that we talked about this being the lady who maybe she uh, just got a base color. So what we're trying to do is just add a little sparkle as I call it. I think everybody wants a little sparkle, but they just don't want to take the time to stay and wait for it, right? So for me, I'm painting side to side on my, bra on my paddle. Very important technique is that your paddle is always to the side, never front like this, because if I go like that, I'm going to make a line. So the paddle has the nice triangle in it, 
And the reason for that is that triangle lays from the back part of the hair. So now I just come back in and, and I just find what I want to paint. You know, anytime I'm in my academy in Atlanta or on the road or in the classroom or wherever I'm at, I'm always telling people, just talk to the hair. You know, let it talk to you. Just pick it up and talk to it. And think about where it is that you want your placement. That's all you have to do. You know, don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. Just come in, pick it up, think about it, talk to it. Okay, I think I need a little highlight there. Now I think I need a little highlight here. Okay, I'm, I'm creating a V. And what I love about this is when this is blown dry, you won't see the challenges of hash marks on a football field. Why? Because this is laid back. Now, I know you guys have seen our nifty little friend on Instagram and Facebook that built a table. Well, I want to make sure you know that she was one of my models in a hair show. She was, so she went home and told her husband that I laid her on the stage and I painted her hair, and hence the table was born. Now she has 65,000 followers, and I only have 12,000. <laughs> right. Follow me on Candy Shaw Codner, please. I need more followers. But nonetheless, um, so the reason for that is just because of that ridge and what it is that we're creating. And so what this does is just gives you a wonderful opportunity to upgrade your service in the salon. Can you imagine yourself doing this? Absolutely. You see yourself, wow, you know, this is a great way to actually make a little bit more money save time, be efficient, and, you know, your guest is happy, you're happy, your boss is happy, and, and away we go. Okay, so right down onto the line, if I want to be bigger, I can. So, you know, if they've broken their hair off or they have issues with hair or uh, maybe they have um, had a baby and lost a lot of hair around the hairline, this is another good way to do it. This is really good when you have girls with super, super long hair and you're just trying to do touch-ups. So on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what a touch-up is. So just tilt your head this way lightly. So basically, here, if I was just trying to touch her up and just do that little bit and just touch her up, I could just pick that hair up, touch her up like that. Okay? But then if I wanted to come on in and... Get right in, I can. Come down here and I'm gonna ride this ridge. I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna skim here. Okay, so I have the perforated wrap. And the perforated wrap, I can put it on at the bowl or I can sit her up. Now, for those of you like myself, we have about 12 shampoo bowls in our salon. And you know, so when we're doing boliages, we'll paint and then we have to have everybody get up and move, right? Because we gotta work and we gotta do, do things. It's like in the model prep room yesterday, you know, people had them laid back with their toners on their hand, hand and, and, then, and then they met me. And I said, you know, shampoo bowls aren't for sitting. Shampoo bowls are for shampooing. So let's move your models or move your people so that you can um, let the water be had. So if you're in the salon and you're doing a boliage, you need to make sure that you're courteous to your, to your guests, uh, to your fellow workers, and uh, move your guests once you've got them painted. So now I'm going to pull all that together, all one big thing, and just paint this ridge coming on out. Paint, paint, paint. Give me strength because this is my focal point. I know that when she blow dries this hair, this is going to be my focal point piece right here. This is the front piece that falls down and defines my bob. Now I'm going to take my loader brush, add a little bit more down to the loader brush. And so we say in the, wor in the world of balayage, you have to have consistency in your products called CBS, B for brush stroke, and S for saturation. So another saying that you'll hear me always talk about in my classroom is if it's not white, it's not light. Okay, so if you don't put enough product on it, you're not going to get light. And the other thing that I always say in my classroom is if you paint a knot, you get a spot. So when you blow dry it, if you're painting knots, you're going to get spots. So you need to come and learn all about shoe stringing and that kind of stuff as well. So now I've just come right in and painted my boliage. I'm going to take one more little piece right here. 
and I'm going to finish that little piece off, and then we'll have a little finale, and then I'll finish off with something inspirational. Yes, because, you know, that's also part of what I love. All right, so here we go. Last little piece, and away we go. So now what's going to happen is she's just going to sit up, and now you can see where her highlights live and what that looks like and how that can translate for you in the salon. So thank you, Logan. Give her a hand.